thanks for tuning in. If you like old trains, please subscribe. Today we're going to talk about the JAD Streamliners. Here we have the Hiawatha. This is their first entry with their engine and tender, introduced in 1974. And then the city of Portland back there was 1980. But we'll go back to the Hiawatha here. Um, JAD was a formation of uh, four partners. You had John Daniels. And you had um, Dick Bagatelli, and you had Art Varney, and you had Jerry Brown. All four of them together uh, produced the engine here. Um, this is a cast aluminum shell. I want a standard gauge here. Um, basically, the idea was if Lionel had continued uh, and standard gauge had prospered, they would have come out with a Hiawatha in standard gauge. So this is kind of the standard gauge rendition of the Lionel O-Gauge Hiawatha, which is ironic because when um, Lionel came out with their uh, city of Portland here in 1934 and then the Hiawatha in 1935, Josh Cohen was rapidly trying to get his toy train manufacturing into a model train factory, um, trying to capture more of the scale look of the trains. So. This is kind of the fantasy of uh, the revival of the modern era of standard gauge from the 1970s, where you had a number of uh, interested parties, a lot of them in, in the California area, um, uh, pro producing trains. And so this is the first one. This is actually the, the model number one, uh, the first of the production. It has some extra striping here that you don't see on the other ones, extra lines here. And this one also has an Ives motor. The other ones all have McCoy motors. So this is kind of unique. Uh, this came out of the Art Barnes, Ar Arno Vars uh, collection. Um, so that's 1974 and 75 production. They made 250 of these engines, which in the modern... Uh, standard gauge era is a lot of trains to produce because um, the market's fairly small. Um, here we have in the Arno Bears uh, book, uh, you can read all about the lovely uh, JAD lines. Here's the first flyer that came out for the engine. And here we have two of the brains. There you have uh, John Daniels, the big salesperson, and the front man, and then you have Jerry Brown, the uh, the designer. So those are your two of the partners. Um, the engine and tender sold for $275 when it was new. And then in the following years, uh, in 77, uh, they came out with these cars, which are kind of the rendition of the uh, Lionel ones, complete with the vestibules that you take apart there to separate the train. Um, course not prototypical to uh, the real Hiawatha they were copying the Lionel one um, and they were assuming that all 250 people that bought these engines were going to want these cars well John Daniels is a magician but he could not pull, pull out 250 purchasers of the car so uh, even though they anticipated making them um, a lot of the car sets were not sold so what they did with the old car sets is they painted some up into the chief colors and then in 1980, they went back to Jerry Brown and had him redesign or design a city, a city of Portland nose and tailpiece to produce uh, the city of Portland here, the M10,000, utilizing the, uh, the car bodies that were left over. So they produced this set. But the uh, nose and tailpiece on this one are in aluminolite. It was a, a poured resin type substance. That has a modified uh, O-gauge motor in it. They made uh, an estimated 25 of those sets to uh, use up some of the old uh, unsold Hiawatha cars. So, that's the, uh, our JAD Lines trains. We'll run them again here. Um, modern era standard gauge had uh, waves, so the 70s was a very popular period for the modern era standard gauge, and JAD was a very important part of that uh, wave. Thank you. We'll fire them up here now.